Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Janelle, the show where I attempt to do things that I have no idea on what I am doing. On today's episode, we're gonna bake a cake. Not any normal cake, because I know how to bake a cake. So step one, I am not using a box, I am using a recipe. Step two, I am going to make a layered cake. Step three, I am going to try to turn it into something special uh, because this cake is for Tony and his birthday. I am going to make him a Slimer cake. That's right, I'm gonna attempt to do this. Uh, for the most part, I have no recipe on how to actually make the Slimer, so I'm just gonna wing it. I have an art degree, so I also took ceramics, so that's another thing of why I'm pretty confident in myself. So to start the cake, we need three cups of sifted cake flour. Also need some baking powder and the salt, so we're going to uh, put that all together. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really fully know how to use this. I got this for Christmas. So three cups of flour, so do I over the holiday, I actually uh, went to a baking day and I have learned a couple of things. These are for dry ingredients. This is for wet ingredients. Okay, question. Do I just pour a cup, sift it in here, and then do another cup? Probably. Was this for the dry ingredients? I'm pretty sure. The other thing that I learned is that it is very important when baking to measure the ingredients precisely. Is this all I do? Okay. Still don't fully understand it, but okay. The three teaspoons, that's the small tea. Oh, that's too much. Hmm. The salt, I need a half a teaspoon. So the next step is saying to cream shortening with sugar and flavorings until fluffy. My question is how do I cream shortening? That's a problem. I'm thinking to just use the mixer, I'm assuming. I can kind of hear you guys yelling at me through the camera. Oh no, that's not right. So that makes me very nervous, but that's what I've, how I've always baked the cake before is like kind of just mixing it all together until it's fluffy. What's fluffy? Oh, ew. And so for sugar, I need one and a half cups. And again, isn't sugar part of a dry ingredient? Wouldn't you think? No one explained that one to me. Oh no. That's not a half a cup either. Do I not have a half a cup? Where did that go? Three fourths of vanilla. That was a bit too much. And then it does require just a little bit, one fourth teaspoon of almond extract. Oh my God. Oh, why is this so hard? Seriously, why is this all so hard? How do I do this? Oh my god. Got it. All for a little one fourth teaspoon. Now, almond extract is extra potent. dry ingredients and milk alternatively looking more like dough than actual and then beat egg whites until stiff and fold into batter fold how do I fold it into the batter 
cool. So here's the thing. Stick? It's pretty wet. How long? Like, seems odd. If I do this too much, they're gonna dry up. Should have bought a box. I don't know. I'm just gonna do what I've always done. And then I guess I'm gonna like fold it like you would a blanket. Folding eggs. I should probably uh, preheat the oven. Here's my annoying question. Why do you have to put stickers on a pan that's gonna about to go into the oven? And how on earth are you supposed to get this off? Hmm? Here's what I'm working with. I'm folding a base, a couple of cakes to create his body, and then up to his top. I don't know, I might need another one of these. Hoping that this at least does this much. This might not be enough cake. Makes two layers. I should be good. Now I have to do this all over again because I have so much more cake to do. I think I'm going to do two batches this time. I'm already tired. Oops. Happy. A little bit of kick. Does anybody else like have issues with their KitchenAid like this? Because it constantly just gets stuck. User error, I'm sure. Stay in the bowl. The other cake's almost done. It has three minutes. So so now I should probably clean up. This is uh, what I am currently dealing with. Got the new cakes in the oven and the base cakes are done. I'm currently chilling the round ones, but the square ones have been chilled. So they are ready to go. Off camera, I did already make the buttercream frosting. I don't know why, I just did. I should probably put a little bit of buttercream down to hold it okay well that doesn't you are supposed to sift the confectionate sugar and I had a really hard time doing that like really hard time um, like it didn't want to actually sift through so I did it I am starting to notice that it's a little clumpy which I'm assuming is because I didn't sift it So I'm gonna put fondant on top. Never done that. But I feel like I should put another layer so it has something to stick to. Okay, so that was a little bit too much. It's not a nice and flat like most people's, but it's not bad. From here, we need to put on the rest of it. And now I'm really nervous. What I did is I stacked that. Still appears to be a little gooey on the inside. Do this in an hour? Ew. I'm over this already. I do know why you need a sifter. I understand now. But it's so hard to get through the sifter. What was I supposed to do? I tried. I really did try. I did try to use it. I have a headache. 
baking a cake is hard. So let's hope that this is cool enough that it's not gonna slide right off like it was. It's a little crooked. <laughs> Those are too tall. Okay, now what? This is the whole part where I have zero recipe. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. This is what I'm attempting to make. I just don't know how I'm gonna cut this. I'm just making this up. I'm just doing things at this point. Did I say I had an art degree? Because we should cut that out. It needs to be taller. But I wasn't about to make more cake and I don't have enough frosting. People do this? How do they do this? And I need to make a mouth. I need to make a mouth. We're gonna make his mouth right here. No, I should do a small. That's his mouth. And then he's got like cheeks right there. <laughs> Yeah, little cheeks, you know, something. Okay, I'm done. I feel like this is falling into the base somehow. Let's just start, uh, yeah, doing something. I'm trying really, really hard not to get it on the white fondant. Pretty sure Tony's gonna question why is it chunky. Little layer may still be a little too hot. I think it's melting a little bit, but what are you gonna do? We all knew this wasn't gonna come out right, right? Like, we're on the same page. I just had an epiphany of, I don't know where I'm gonna store this. And again, I just want to address that people do this on shows in an hour. I am probably on hour three of me achieving this masterpiece. Who are you gonna call? Not me. Don't call me. A lot of love went into this cake, Tony. Remember that. Gonna make some teeth out of fondant. He's got little vampire teeth, that's fine, that's fine. Can I bring up his cheeks a little bit with fondant? These are his little cheeks, okay. Okay, now how do I cover you gently? Can you see the G? Okay, okay, okay. Don't slide on me. <laughs> I have red food coloring. Tooth. And he's got his tongue, you can kind of see that. Got this other darker food coloring that I was going to paint on his body to give him like a little bit more texture. And then just like rolls. Huh? <laughs> I got these guys, which are look like little eyeballs. So bad, not so bad. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Stop right there. Okay. You ready? Not terrible. I know it's not terrible. 
terrible. Why does it look clumpy? <laughs> like, this part looks good. What part? The square part. I know. Where's I his arms? Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I have fun. 